Hey, what's up, y'all? You know, it's Romain Entertainment here. So, today I'm going to talk about this little um, allegation thing that been going around with Meat Mill and P. Diddy. So, there's a voice note that been going around about P. Diddy and Meat Mill locked up into a room. But Meat Mill was going against the allegation. He was saying that there was no such thing between him and P. Diddy. So he's saying that the vice note is fake. So he's doing everything he could or can to keep the allegation far from him. I mean, like he paid a hundred thousand dollars, as you can see, and the poster right here that I uploaded. Yeah, so he paying a hundred thousand dollars to uncover why he connected to Diddy case. I mean, like he was saying, "Yo, bro, all of this going on is fake. I had nothing to do with this." You know what I mean? But the bodyguard be saying, yo, I was there bodyguarding the doorway and I heard some clapping sound. But the bodyguard was saying, yo, I was not smoking weed. I wasn't high or anything, but I was there and I heard some clapping sound. But I'm going to show you the video right here, right now, if you don't believe me. Champagne was spiked, son. Like, all the champagne was spiked. Everybody was passed the fuck out. I don't drink. I don't drink, so I was playing that shit off like I don't fucking drink. I smoke, nigga. Like I smoke and I had my own weed, but like everybody was passed out. Yo, did he had that man in the room? Look, yes. I put my ear to the fucking door and I brought the phone because Diddy started going in overdrive. I ain't know what the fuck was going on, but I just heard balls slapping against ass cheeks. I heard niggas struggling to take dick. I heard niggas being like, yeah, daddy. Like when, when I when, when he started call, all that daddy this and daddy that, and then I heard some hollering and struggling like, yeah, I kept the phone there and I recorded all that shit because I was like, this nigga did he rich. So I'm finna, finna put the squeeze on and get me a all right, so y'all just see the video about the bodyguard been telling you stuff that happened in the room with P. Diddy and Meat Mill. So, I mean, Meat Mill faces a lot of blacklist after he um fired rumor P. Diddy, but there's no rumor stuff like that. I mean, both of the dude they're caught. So, what is there to be lying about? I mean. We have you on tape, like, and audio as, as well, that been leaked on the internet. So even now, the audio has been surfing the internet very for a very long time. A lot of people on the internet is trolling both PDD and Meat Meal. So here's the audio. Oh, 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 oh. Whoa, I mean, what was that? I mean, bro, right now I'm completely peaceless. I don't know what. <laughs> no, I'm sorry, y'all. It's not funny. It's not funny, but um, I mean, what was that? I mean, the first time the video got leaked, everybody was wondering what was that. It was very traumatizing. Very. Man, I don't know what to say, but. Yeah, folks. So that was the audio in the video a while ago. I mean, like. I right know I'm very completely peaceless. I mean, I don't have nothing to say. But. I don't know, but maybe that's why he was saying, somebody save me, save me, you know, go want somebody to save him, but you know, we probably just saying that, nah, it's just a song, you know, motivation song or stuff like that, what we were saying, somebody save me, save me, 23 and 1, it almost drive me crazy, you know, so, I don't know. But yeah, Bo was saying somebody saved me. Probably that's why he wrote the song, but we didn't realize up until now. But I've been reading up some stuff on the internet, but there's a lot of stuff going on the internet that we don't know. A lot of things going on out there that we don't know, I don't heard of yet. A lot is going to reveal soon, soon, soon enough. But yeah, but thank you for watching, guys. You know, it's for me in entertainment. 
don't forget to subscribe like and share